Hey guys, welcome to the Riaya and another Skyrim tutorial. This one is going to be installing Dual Sheath Redux onto Mod Organizer. Now, I am going to assume you have basic knowledge on how to use Mod Organizer for installing basic type mods. So I will not go through that. If you have any questions on that, you can let me know in the comments below and I'll try to make some other videos to help you out. Okay, so the first thing you are going to do, of course, is go to the Dual Sheath Redux page on the Nexus, log in, and go to Files. You will need two files on this since the creation of the unofficial Skyrim patch 2.1.2. .2. So you'll need to download the main file, which you can do with the manager or manually if you prefer. Right here it will show the prerequisites of what is required, which is Maximum Skeleton XPMS, SKSE, and Java Runtime Environment. So, if you have those already, then just leave that as is and click Continue with my download. If not, then go ahead and download each of those. And then you will also need the patcher. Again, because of the unofficial Skyrim patch 2.1.2 .2 has caused some issues with the patcher itself, and they need to be updated for anything that runs an actual Java runtime to install a specific mod. Now this shouldn't take too long to download. I'll check right here. And patch your downloaded, of course, real fast. Just another note on that uh, Java uh, update, or actually the unofficial Skyrim patch update. What happens is uh, there's an interference in the cell data of the unofficial Skyrim patch, which will interfere with creating the patch itself. So some mods do not have a patch and you have to go in manually to clear that data, but you don't have to hear, so we won't really get into that. Alright, now of course in Mod Organizer, double click here to begin the install or find the file from the top left and open it up. I'll extract the files and greet you with the nice little installer it has. Now if you have just the patcher and like base vanilla meshes, you could just leave that. If you have mod packs, of course, click that and go to next. Do you use a swords on back skeleton? This gets a little tricky now with XPMS version 3. If you are using the new XPMS, which requires you to run the specific finis check mark on the bottom of its list, then you are going to select no. If you are using the original maximum skeleton with swords on back, you need to select yes. The reason for this is XPMS 3 allows you to put weapons on back or on your character side or however you have a set custom skeleton that works with it on the new mod manager inside the game which looks like this alright then you go to next select this if you have the delarpification project which I don't so next again and here is the main mod page if it does not automatically detect mods that you have that will require it then you will have to just make sure you, sure you put a check next to it yourself. As you can see here, it has detected immersive armors and immersive weapons on my load order. So it automatically put the check mark there. And then you click install. Before I do that though, personally I am going to be changing the name of this. and then clicking install.
Now it has it placed down here. Just check it to enable it. And double check the plugin directory to make sure it is there, which it is. And before we go any farther, we are going to install the patcher. And we will have it the same name as whatever you decide to name it yourself. So for me, it's Dual Sheet 3 Ducks Tutorial. Hit OK and tell it to merge. And this will allow to install properly with the later unofficial Skyrim patch. Next, what you need to do is to go up to the cog on the top left section to configure an executable. I already have one from a video I messed up before, so I'm going to remove that real quick. Title, Dual Sheath Redux Tutorial, <clears throat> and name it however you wish to. And now you have to find it. For me, it'll be one of the mod organizer, mods, Dual Sheath Redux Tutorial, Skyrim proc patchers, dual sheath redux patch, and then dual sheath redux patch dot jar. And it will set up what is required so that this can run. With this being done, you then click add. And it will add it to executables on your list. And you can close that out. Go up to the drop down box where it says SKSE or whichever executable you have it listed at the time and go down to Dual Sheath Redux Tutorial. Then you click Run and it'll launch the Java executable. From here, you do not need to change anything, so all you will do is click Patch. This could take a few minutes, so you just leave this alone to do its own thing. And you can come back to it, of course, as soon as it finishes. I will resume the video once it is done. All right, it is done. So now, if you aren't already at the bottom of your screen, go all the way down and double click on overwrite to make sure the files are there which as you see they are click close then you right click on overwrite and tell it to create mod and we'll name this dual sheath redux tutorial patched then click OK and enable the mod and there you go it is done if you have multiple profiles though for mod organizer you will have to go to each profile and create a new dual sheath redux so when you go to another profile you will have to well it will already be disabled of course and not show up as being used here so you just make a new one put the name to it that you wish for the main file and the patcher and then go through each one that also includes making a new executionable for each of them I hope this tutorial is helpful for somebody like this video if you like it dislike it if you didn't and leave a comment below if you have any suggestions and thank you for watching it